It is a hot day out today. I wish I had a nice cold glass of water. Mmm. But wait, how much water is in this cup? Well, to solve a problem like that, you're going to have to know a few things about the cup. First off, this cup is shaped. If you look at the top of the cup, notice the top of the cup that has a circular shape. Same with the bottom, we call that the base. We call this three-dimensional object a cylinder. Now, because we're trying to figure out how much water can be held in this cup, that's what's called volume of a three-dimensional object. Well, how much can fit inside of the cup? To find the volume of a cylinder, we have a formula. The mathematical formula for the volume of a cylinder is pi times r squared times h. Pi standing for the constant 3.14. R is the radius of the base of the cylinder, and H stands for the height of the whole object from top to bottom. So to find how much water is going to be in this cup, we need a couple of measurements. So the first thing I'm going to measure is I'm going to measure the radius. If you want me at the top of the cup to find the radius, I'm going to put my ruler from the center of the circle out to one of its outside edges. If I zoom in, approximately 4 centimeters. I'm going to record this down for my radius. I'm going to say the radius is equal to 4 centimeters. One down, one to go. Now I have to solve for the height of this object. The height of the object is quite simple. It's from the top to the bottom. So if I put my ruler straight vertically from top to bottom, if I zoom in, I can see that this cup is approximately 9 centimeters tall. I'm going to put that to get down on paper, 9 centimeters tall. So now I have my two variables, the radius of 4 centimeters and a height of 9 centimeters. Can we solve for the volume of this cup?